All right, so a big shout out to Skeeter, Skeeter Jones. He is my bro that uh, supplied me with this story. He's like, you should check this out. I'm like, all right, I'll do a reaction to it. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Koe, joined by Demetra Selena Seeley. Gomez. <laughs> Demetra Seely. Demetra Seely. I wish I was Selena Gomez, though. Demetra Celine Dion. Demetra Seely. She has her own YouTube channel and decided that she wanted more subscribers, so she showed up here. Uh, you begged me to come on your show. <laughs> I was stalking her at a, at a, at a party. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'll only allow this if you let me come on your channel. Yes. We're looking at a video called Sneakers Made with Plastic Bags Cost $100 Worldwide Waste. This is from Bizner, Biz, Bizner, Business Insider, the YouTube channel. Channel. If you guys enjoy the video we're about to watch, be sure to give Business Insider a subscribe. There's a link in the description below for the original video that we're about to look at. You can uh, click on that. Also, please subscribe here, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. These sneakers are made with garbage. The company that makes them says each pair contains 10 plastic bags and 12 bottles. For $110, they'll ship them anywhere in the world. But can footwear made from trash compete in the over $70 billion sneaker industry? We went to India to meet the young entrepreneur making sneakers from worldwide waste. 23 year old Ashe Bave launched Daily in July 2021. Daily because it is the Hindi word for plastic bags. At first, Bave struggled to gather materials even though trash in India ends up in all kinds of places. I assumed that it would be easy to find, you know, waste plastic bags, but that wasn't the case. So Bave partnered with a waste removal company that hires rag pickers. Interesting. Those are people who yeah. collect recyclables from the street to sell for cash. TrioTap Technologies offers them a steady paycheck and an indoor sorting space. They clean the bags in a hot tub filled only with water, without any added chemicals. And then hang them out to dry. Inside the warehouse, Sairuddin stacks eight to ten layers of bags at a time. This is wild. This, this is wild to me because you're creating a whole economy around recycling garbage yeah. that n wouldn't have existed otherwise. I think this is so neat. I'm personally like so excited by this idea because like the other day, like I don't know if you've been watching the news at all, but like they've been launching these ships that are supposed to be cleaning up the ocean, like mm -hmm. all the the densely populated uh, parts of the ocean that are filled with garbage and stuff like that. Wow. Have you ever heard about this? No, I haven't. Like at all. it's a, over the next five to ten years, it's supposed to be it's supposed to completely clean up that. That and just huge like patch of garbage. bring it back to land, I guess? I don't know what the plan is from there, but it's like they're taking it out of the ocean. Yep. I'm always wondering, like, what do you do with all that garbage? Like, mm -hmm. well, then what? How do you deal with it from there? And, like, this is a process, you know, to deal with at least some of it, you know? Then places the pile under a heat press. Humans are so creative. This finished product will cover most of the sneaker. The company's founder calls it Daily Tex. So it's a material that's made entirely out of waste plastic bags without the use of any chemicals. Cyrodine packs and ships them seven hours north to the Natouche footwear factory. That's where the shoe will be assembled. This is First, crazy. The text yeah. sheets are die cut using metal forms. Other patterns are cut from our pet fabric, which is made from recycled bottles and woven into something like canvas. Wow. The workers stitch the two types of materials together. The assembled upper gets stretched out. Daily soles are made with crumbs of industrial rubber. A worker needs to rough the sole on this grinder, so the glue added in the next step will adhere. They coat the top of the sole with a clear glue. A special UV light increases its stickiness. <laughs> The shoes go through a series of heat treatments and coats to strengthen the bond between the sole and the upper. Then comes the final round of stitching. Daly's laces are also made with recycled plastic. Wow. This factory employs 170 people and makes shoes for three different companies. We wanted to make sure that we're still using existing sneaker manufacturing techniques. 
you know, we didn't want to reinvent the wheel. Sitoosh turns out 15,000 pairs of shoes every week. Wow. And they try to recycle everything, even scraps. It's, I was wondering about the same thing. I was like, okay, what do you do with all the leftover stuff though? Because like, okay, you're taking garbage and, and or plastic bags and then compressing it and pressing it. Mm -hmm. And then you're cutting out these shapes. What do you do with the leftover material from that? I guess that, you can recompress it. Yeah, I guess so. Like, I mean, if it came from there already. Right, right, exactly. So that is like, that's really cool. To just like how it's really making the most out of all these materials and trying to put nothing to waste, no pun intended. I mean, it's that, that's what we should be doing. Our planet's literally dying. <laughs> right. Like, you know? Right. I mean, that would be cool. I mean, to, like this is, I'm, I'm sure there's endless plastic bags in the Pacific garbage patch. Oh, the only thing that was that this has me wondering about is just the use of plastic itself as a material that we are wearing, right? I don't know. I've been hearing studies and stuff like that about how bad plastic is for us. Oh, like, as in like maybe cancer down the line kind of thing? Yeah, it's just doing harm to our bodies in yeah. general and stuff like that. Like, okay, but I think, I, I, I think if I'm not mistaken, that has more to do with what we ingest mm -hmm. and not necessarily what we're touching or what's on our body. But I have no idea. I'm not a scientist or whatever. So, but like, I have been trying to be, I, I have been trying to be more conscious of that, like using glass bottles to store water Water and not buying plastic water as much, you know, paper cups instead of plastic cups, all mm -hmm. that stuff. It's recycled and some of it is also reused to make more Thaly Tech sheets. The tote bag used as packaging is made from four plastic bottles. Wow. And the shoe That's box so made cool. from recycled I know, paper it's like material. Has seeds in it. Customers can cut the box, plant it in soil, and grow a basil seedling. What? So nice. The company sold 300 pairs of sneakers in its That's first month. That's crazy. It says the shoes are built to last. Well, they're plastic. It's extremely yeah. durable. It lasts like any other sneaker for about two to three years, depending on how it is used. But can a small company like this compete with worldwide brands? I'm sure it's hard. Several have launched <laughs> shoes from recycled plastic in recent years. Nike launched the Space Hippie, a shoe made with recycled materials in June 2020. See, but the thing about it is that looks like it's made from recycled yeah, materials. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, yeah, go Nike, but shit's ugly. <laughs> the thing that we've been looking at throughout the video actually looks like something very wearable. Like yeah. it, it goes with multiple kinds of outfits, like whether you're a golfer or you're just walking about. I feel like the other shoes, I don't know anything about golf, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> but like, I'm just saying the other shoes, they actually looked like something that can go with a variety of outfits. Mm -hmm. This looks like a very specific thing for a very specific purpose. And I could not possibly tell you what that is because Space. those <laughs> shoes look whack as fuck <laughs> to me like, i wouldn't pay for that but the other shoes i thought were actually pretty cool yeah i'm i'm on the same line as you personally yeah. not my style yeah. but they probably cost like 400 dollars. you know you walk into beverly hills with that people are like oh he's got style yeah adidas makes a shoe that incorporates that's ocean not bad plastic. yeah the company says it will produce 17 million pairs of them in 2021 wow that means it's likely that a global brand like Adidas sold more recycled sneakers in an hour than Daily has sold since the company launched. Mm. But Bave is undeterred, and he says the business is already profitable. This is a project that. And is then going what to does it matter? Yeah. And at the same time, it's going to help enrich the lives of the sanitation workers that we work with, and you know the factories that we work with. That's Bobby wild. got the idea for Daily when he was in business school. We had a Shark Tank like competition in my university, and I had this opportunity to make my design project into a real business idea. He says private investors funded the launch of his business. The name of the Y2K Pro shoe is a reference to the early 2000s. He was inspired by basketball and skate shoes from that era. Yeah, Even that's that the time, vibes I got. He had a toddler sized foot. <laughs> it seems like Daly is onto something with the idea of how to add value to discarded bags. Starting in September 2021, Indian authorities required all plastic bag makers to manufacture thicker bags. The idea is that more durable bags are easier to recycle and that rag pickers will be more likely to collect them. Hmm. And once a customer is through with a Daly sneaker, Bave says they can send it back to the company for a discount. That's cool. Wow. That's another thing I was thinking about too. They're answering all my questions. Cause yeah. I was like, what do you do with the shoe once you're done with it? Do you just throw it out? And I was like, well, no, cause it's made of materials that are recycled. Surely you could just recycle the shoe again. Yeah, apparently yes. It's just like a perfect ecosystem of recycling and shoemaking. This is crazy. This guy should be very proud of himself. <laughs> this is really 
Well done. <laughs> Forbish them and we're donating them to charities and refugee camps. Hell yeah. That was cool. That was very cool. That was, uh, for me, that was pretty mind blowing. I'm, Cause I'm always thinking about that. Cause you know, we have so much garbage that we've amassed over like the last century with the increase in population, the increase in, you know, it, just industries in general and production of stuff that like goods and whatnot that eventually get used and tossed. You know, the garbage just keeps adding it up and adding up and adding up. And I'm like, why don't we just put it in a rocket and send it to the sun? <laughs> but that, that's me and my, you know, naive brain not knowing a whole lot about I don't know, the logistics the, I feel of all like that. You don't want the sun to explode. I don't know anything though. <laughs> I don't think the sun would explode. It's just not practical to do because mm -hmm. of the cost to get stuff into space yeah. is expensive. That would be. It's it's just not. I it's feel just like not practical. The Earth crapping itself is less practical. Though. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, that's true. Uh, but I, you know, finding a way to recycle these things, I think, is is very, very, very smart and commendable. Like just the effort it's of absolutely it. Absolutely commendable. Yeah. And moreover, it's also profitable for him. I really enjoy this idea that like there's this whole system of people now that he's been been able to employ that maybe wouldn't have otherwise been able to have that kind of work. Exactly. You know, that's really cool. There's no short supply of garbage anytime soon. I can see this is just going on forever. This is pretty cool. Well, I mean, I try to like actively like lower my waste and yeah. still sometimes I'm just so surprised at the amount of like the bin fills so quickly. Right. Like the trash fills so quickly. It's yeah. insane. Yeah. It also gives you another reason to recycle, another important reason to recycle because it's like you can have a dedicated bin presumably for this kind of material that mm -hmm. you can just give to the person when they can come to collect it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like for me, sometimes I wonder if there's a really any use with recycling. I've heard all kinds of debates about it of how it doesn't actually do anything for the environment when mm -hmm. you when you put stuff in the specific recycling bin. I've heard arguments from both sides. Yeah. But like, this is a very clear thing you can see. Like you can see the process. The video did a very good job in a very, very succinctly showed you like th how these materials are collected, used, distributed, and then like reused all over again. I'm like, oh, this is very obvious. Yeah. And I, and I like it for that reason, because it's like, this is, a, even the stupidest person can't like see past this. You know what I mean? Like even the dumbest person will be able to look at this and go, oh yeah, I get it. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm of the opinion that, so people are like, why recycle? It never helps. Yeah. But even if it does a tiny, tiny little bit, I'm of the opinion, like do it. Like, why not? It can help. And if every single, like, even if like every single person just recycles like one bottle, that's tons of bottles. Sure. I don't know what the production is. I don't know what's involved in like the manpower of it exactly. all. Exactly. We don't know. So yeah. Just do it. Just in case. <laughs> just in you know? Case. Okay. <laughs> you never know. It could help the world. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things where I, I need to do my own investigating instead of just getting hearsay information. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank be you. Be sure to follow Demetra on the social media and on her YouTube channel for some ha-has. <laughs> if you're, everyone needs more ha-has in the world, so. I agree. <laughs> yeah, so follow her for some more ha-has and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, all notifications and vote this up to let YouTube know you enjoyed what you watched. I'm Jabby Kawe, this is. Demetra Seely. Peace out.